pagan um, pragmatism. What were the Goths doing in the Northern Black Sea region? I thought they originally they were originally from Gotland, Sweden. Well, if you go to this original video, this black circle is where they all all the barbarians came from, right? You now the Goths had moved south, um, and then uh, just like the Lombards, the Lombards came from Sweden too, uh, or Scandinavia, and so did the Angles, the Saxons. The Jutes, um, Vandals, they, uh, the, the Goths moved towards the Black Sea and were known as the Ostrogoths. Um, and they went there for some time. These were their migrations. But um, I thought I made it clear, apparently. I didn't make it clear that, yes, they are from, uh, I mean, Gotland or the Geats. That, that's... Absolutely, they're from Scandinavia. Um, but yeah, they did get to the, go to the Black Sea. They did invade Italy, and then they wound up in Spain for a little bit. Um, I thought they were originally from Gotland, Sweden. Yep, I am interested in how Slavic culture formed as opposed to Germanic culture. Where did the Slavs come from? Did they travel from the Yamna and Volga Basin to, to Central Europe? Yes, that's the belief that I hold, or the theory that I hold to, um, that that's where the Slavs came from. Obviously, in history, there is competing theories, but absolutely, uh, it's where I place them at. Um, and the Goth, the, uh, to go back, the Goth, the movement of the Goths into the Roman Empire, it was due to the Huns um, attacking them. Uh, they were actually looking for a homeland. I would, specific, uh, I, I would specifically really like to know how the Celts are distinguished from Germanic and Germanic from Slavs. Furthermore, what do the Dacians and Thracians fall into the whole spectrum? Thrac are Thracians Germano-Slavs? No. Um, many people make this distinction, just like I've heard many people... I've, I actually heard somebody say that Alexander the Great was a Slav and um, because he was from Macedonia, even though Macedonia of today is not Macedonia of the time of Alexander the Great at all. And these migrations, people moved. I mean, there were no Anglo Saxons or Jutes or even much of any Nordic blood in Britain um, before the Great Migration. And genetic shows that uh, it was extermination and replacement on a level of what happened to the uh, the indigenous Native Americans when the uh, the English and the colonizers came to the uh, what is now the United States um, so I'll make a video on this for you I'll get into I mean the Germanic people the Slavs and the Celts were different races they were different i mean the germanic people and nordic people came from scandinavia and northern germany the celts actually inhabited a huge swath of of europe until the latins and the greeks kicked them out and then you had the the germanic people move in and basically push the actual celts into places like cornwall wales and ireland Right, and then the Irish had to um, Scottishize the Picts because the Scots were just the people nor living in Northern Ireland. What we call Scots now are actually Celticized Picts. But um, language, religion, facial features, um, ancestry are all very different for the Celts, the uh, Slavs, um, the Germanic or Nordic people. I mean, the religions were completely different. Same with the Greeks, although the Greeks and the Latins had similar religions, but uh, again, a different people. Uh, the Lombards started the Renaissance, and the Vandals were progenicized uh, as Andalusians, the land of the Vandals. The Vandals, yeah, the Vandals came into Spain. They were a Germanic people and set up... Um, 
Vandal Spain. They also went into North Africa. They were an Aryan group of Christian barbarians. Um, Aryan mean Arianism, which is a heresy among Christians. But the Lombards did not start the Renaissance. The Lombards were some of the last and most brutal pagans. Um, they entered northern Italy and were... I mean, all these people, the Anglo Anglo Saxon, the the Anglo Saxons and the Vikings are basically the exact same people, and so were the Franks and so were the Lombards worshiping Thor and Odin. Um, but you no, know, the Lombards that was a thousand years. The Renaissance in the Lombard invasion of northern Italy is separated by a thousand years. Um, so I would contest that with you, but. Um, yeah, I will, this is just a preliminary video, I will go deeper into it, and um, please comment more and tell me what you'd like me to address in the next video. Thank you for the comment, peace to you.